first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out all the push pins. And here we can take off the grip and unscrew the line. And while we have this all off, we're gonna go ahead and take off the old airline here. I'm just gonna put this off to the side, along with the grip. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and take out all the body screws. Okay, and this comes right off. I'm gonna keep this for later. This don't really need anymore unless you're gonna convert it back. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and remove the rest of the screws and separate it. Got all of those out, we're gonna set it aside. We're gonna pull this piece off right here. Set this aside as well. And it should just come in to two halves. And you have all your internals. Be on the safe side. This little clear plastic piece. Just set the him off to the side. Don't lose him. Maybe put him in a container. Okay, we're going to be removing the push rod. The O ring, you're going to need this. It just floats in the back here. This piece. And in here, we have a. Uh, this little piece in here, we're going to take this out and remove some of the internals out of it. Uh, you're going to want to be careful uh, when removing it. You don't want to get your fingers around this at all. Uh, you can get pinched. Go ahead and take uh, pliers and you're going to push it just to get it going. And then grab the metal piece here and we can pull it out. We have a new set, so we can toss this one if you want. Okay, in here, we have an O-ring. You're gonna need this. Washer. Spring. And the pin. This is the old one. Oh, we're also gonna be needing uh, this O-ring as well. We're transferring everything over. With the new one, we're going to go ahead and put this O-ring back on. Take the pin. Drop that down inside. If it'll want to go. There you go. Should come out the bottom here. Then the spring. Washer. And then this o-ring and you're going to want to put this push this o-ring down there's a little lip in there that it needs to catch on get the new tube and you're going to line this hole with this uh little slit that's right here okay Head. Then this piece right here is going to make sure you get it right like that. You can go ahead and attach this piece back in here. There we are. I'm going to put him back in. Make sure this holds up top. We have the new air tube, and that's going to be going right here, and you're just going to want to make sure that he lies down in that nice fresh cut crevice there, just like that. Taking, bringing back the new rod, attaching it. Okay, 
Then we're going to add this uh, ball detent back in. This piece back here. We're going to put the halves back together now. After we put the uh, O-ring back in here, and there's this little hole in here that you're going to slide that into. The new adapter piece. Now we're going to reattach the uh, grip. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add all the push pins back in. Alright, and there you have it. You've installed the MK5 internal air kit.